everyone. Welcome to the webinar. We'll get started in a couple minutes. Thanks for joining us. All right, hi there everyone. My name is Adam Roser. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service. Um, I'm seeing the numbers start to go up here um, as we get toward 1130, so I will start. Um, nice to see everyone. Thanks again for joining us. Um, as you have heard, we do have an atmospheric river on the way here in Southern California, and that's gonna occur. A little bit of rain showers might uh, start a little bit um, especially in San Diego on Tuesday, tomorrow. And then we're going to start to see some bigger precipitation totals Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. So I'm just going to turn my screen off here for the bandwidth, but um, I will continue to present to you. So I'm um, taking a look here, um, some key messages so far. So as we get out ahead of the storm, we're going to have some gusty west winds, and you'll start to see those in the mountains today. Um, especially along the ridge lines there to the desert slopes. Um, and those will continue into tonight and then strengthening on Tuesday. So we're going to see some stronger west winds um, for the mountains and deserts tomorrow. And then we get into our storm system coming up here. Um, a weak to moderate strength is what this is looking like as of right now. Um, it looks to come into two rounds into the area. So as we see on Wednesday, that's going to start round one. This is looking to be a bit weaker in terms of precipitation. And then as we go Thursday into Friday, that's going to be where the heavier precipitation will occur. Um, impacts from this are going to include, of course, hazardous driving conditions, slick roadways, things like that. And then some localized flooding also. We'll talk about that um, in our low-lying areas and potentially near burn areas as well. So um, those are some of the impacts we're looking toward as we um, look at this system as a whole. So taking a look at first um, what's going to happen with the winds. Um, again, those winds are kind of going to start coming in from the west, a bit gusty in the mountains today, um, and then kind of evolving overnight into Tuesday. Um, and then locally, Wednesday morning, we could see um, some winds there in the, the desert slopes, places like that. So 
Um, as you can see from the map here, areas west of the mountains, mainly wind gusts below 25 miles an hour. Um, but as you go toward the deserts, mountain passes, places like that, generally 35 to 45 miles an hour, locally a little bit higher, especially um, in the mountain passes, especially like the San Gregorio Pass along Interstate 10. Um, so uh, taking a look at that, you can see the map there. Again, those are west winds, so they'll be blowing from the mountains toward the deserts. Um, but some difficult driving for high profile vehicles at times, and then anyone who has outdoor property, it may be damaged in some of these areas. So taking a look at the atmospheric river event, um, again, we have it in two rounds here. Round one is going to be the lighter of the rounds, of the two rounds. Um, we'll start seeing those light showers start to overspread the area starting around Wednesday morning. And the potential for the heaviest rain um, will fall Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. And especially you can see the totals are highest over San Diego County. Um, it's going to be the most favored. Um, again, confidence is pretty moderate on the timing of this. It's starting to lock in as we get closer to the event, and the amounts look pretty good. Moderate confidence with that, too. Um, again, with this, it's going to be you know, light to some moderate rainfall. Um, the flood threat is quite minor. Again, this is mainly just going to be um, some hazardous travel, um, any slick roads, things like that. And then as we look toward round two, so this system is going to start to come in here mainly from the west, so off the ocean, and uh, kind of give us a little hose um, into Southern California. So Thursday through Friday night, that is round two, the bigger round here. Uh, moderate to locally heavy rainfall at times. The heaviest rainfall we are expecting that is going to fall is going to be mainly Thursday afternoon and night. Um, again, it's looking fairly good with the forecast here. We're still not as confident on the exact rainfall amounts and the exact rain rates, which I'll discuss in a moment here. Um, but it's still looking like, you know, a fairly wet event here as we head later into the week. So with rainfall like this, uh, we're going to be talking about increased flood risk for low-lying areas and some of those recent burn areas as well. Taking a look next, so I know, say it ain't snow, well, we're not really going to have a lot here, so we're not going to talk too much about the snow since atmospheric rivers are very uh, warm systems here. Um, they usually come in from the west or the southwest, bringing in that tropical moisture, so um, not too much snow. Um, as we get into Wednesday with that first round, um, some areas above 5,000 feet may see a slushy inch or so of accumulating snow as the snow levels stay lower on Wednesday morning. But then as the second bullet point there states, our snow levels are going to rise rapidly as the atmospheric river comes into the area. Um, as you can see, 7,000 feet by Saturday, or by, excuse me, by Thursday morning. So um, snow levels are going to be very high. Most of this, most of the areas, mountain towns, Big Bear, Wrightwood, all of that, it's going to just be plain old rain um, for these areas. And then as the system departs, so the system will move in from the west and then drift toward the south on Friday, um, the snow levels will start to lower a bit. So some places as the storm sort of exits here by Friday morning and afternoon could see one to two inches for places above 6,000 feet. So as you can see on the map there, Idlewild, slushy accumulation near an inch potentially. Big Bear, maybe a little bit more. And then we'll go further in time. So I know um, rain rates are very important as we have some of those recent burn areas. So um, taking a look at that, confidence still a bit low. So um, our forecast weather models, things like that, they're starting to get into that high resolution model window. Um, but we're still a bit early, so definitely going to know those are going to help us with the forecast a bit more as we get into tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, but again, round one a bit weaker, quarter inch or less, uh, mainly the rain rates are going to be, um, and as I said before, San Diego County, you're going to see the heaviest rain there um, for the Wednesday event, um, especially Wednesday evening. And then as we look toward Thursday, um, those rain rates are going to get higher. So they may exceed that half inch um, an hour threshold. Some of those burn scars have some of those thresholds around half inch an hour. So those may be exceeded. 
Um, but again, confidence still low on that. Um, but the best chance of that happening would be Thursday afternoon as the heaviest part of the atmospheric river moves through. And then as the system slowly drifts to the south and to the east um, by Friday, some weaker rain showers, um, we may see some areas seeing closer again to a quarter of an inch per hour rain rates as the system 